everyone and welcome back to the organized notebook. In this video, we wanted to cover the new Notion update 2.34, which was released yesterday. And it has some small features that we just like to update you on. So let's get started. So the first thing that Notion mentions in this new update is the hover preview of a Notion page. And this is actually something that we've already noticed for quite a while now, and maybe you've also noticed too, but we'll just show you what this means. So if we make a new page here, and let's say that this is new page, and we can even add an icon and a cover photo. And now if we go back to the other page and we hover over new page, you'll see a sort of preview of this page so that you don't have to click in to see more of the page. So this is really useful so that you can immediately see pages by hovering them. So this is a really nice change that we've really enjoyed already. And the next thing that they've changed is that Notion is now available in five additional languages. So there's Danish, Dutch, Finnish, Norwegian, and Swedish. So you can set your preferred language in settings and members and then language and region. So we'll just show you how to do this. So if we go to our Notion page and we hover, and then we can go to settings and members. And then what we can do is go to language and region and change it to these languages. And here it says that it's in beta, so it's not 100% yet. But if you're from one of these countries or you work with people who are from one of these countries, this could be a useful feature to use in your workspaces. The next thing that they mention is that there's more dashboard controls to help you manage users within your domain. And this is mainly to do with enterprise customers. So if we go to our Notion page and we don't have the enterprise because we're a very small team but you can look for it by going to settings and members and then going to identity and provisioning. So here you can see all sorts of things like manage users dashboard, allow managed users change profile information. You could even log out all users and things like that. So there's way more control you can have if you're an enterprise user. And the next thing is that they have two new integrations and you can go to Notion's integration gallery if you want to see exactly what kinds of new integrations there are with Notion. So you can see if there's anything new here. So those are the small updates that Notion has made. We hope that this is useful for you so that you can keep up to date with all of Notion's recent updates. Which one of these is your favorite? And let us know if you had any questions, comments, or anything confusing in this video. And we hope to see you in the next one.